Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tahar and I am so excited for today. We are going to be swatching and trying on everything in the NYX and Barbie collaboration. And this is not sponsored. I had to go to four different shops just so that I can find all of these products because not one shop had everything. So I don't even know if you know that NYX had a collaboration with Barbie. Yeah, Barbie the movie. It's called the Welcome to the Dream House collection and it has a bunch of different things. So we will be swatching all of these today, both on my arm and on my face. The timestamps will be put down below along with the links to these products. I am not an affiliate. These are not affiliate links. I don't earn anything. I bought all of these with my own money. But if you would like to support me and my channel, I do appreciate you subscribing, liking this video and commenting down below. So if you want to see all of these products swatched and put on my face, then please keep on watching. So I was able to grab my hands on most of the NYX The Barbie Movie collaboration. So there is a bunch of stuff in the Welcome to the Dream dream house collaboration with NYX and Barbie. They have this little flip phone mirror that I was not able to get unfortunately but I did manage to get all the lippies. They have in the collection two matte lip creams, one in the shade Perfect Day Pink and then the other in the shade Dream House Pink which is basically like a purple, almost like my dress which is actually not my dress. This is my sister's dress but she won't find out until she watches this video. Uh-huh, I'm sorry. And I was also able to grab the Butter Gloss. And they only have one in the shade. It's a Barbie party. That's so cute. I love their Butter Glosses, so I'm so excited to try this. They also have this Cheek Palette. And in the second store, I managed to find the Cheek Palette. And it has two blushes and one highlight. The highlight does look very gold. I don't think it's gonna complement my skin tone. So we'll try using the highlighter. We'll see. One shade is really pink and the other shade is very orange. For summer, the orange is where it's at, but for this look in particular, I'm pretty sure I'll go with the pink. Another is the eye jumbo pencils and you know NYX, they're known for their jumbo pencils and I was able to get a pack of the jumbo pencils in the second shop that I went to. It only has a blue and pink standard Barbie colors and to be honest these are not my colors I don't feel like my skin complements blue or pink very well but we'll see we'll still try it second to the last are lashes this is the ombre lash it has like pink and black mixed into it so it's not just a plain black I was hesitant to get this because I know I will never ever use this again but you know what why not you only live once and I thought it would look good with the look anyway so we'll see and lastly they had two makeup palettes but I was only able to snag one on the third shop that I went to I'm so happy I went to the third shop this one is the Barbie the movie face eye pigment there is another one in the blue called the Ken Energy and that one has more colorful shades to be honest this one is more my style I prefer more neutral colors so I'm pretty happy about this one that I got it also comes with a mini butter gloss on the side which is kind of cute oh my gosh it's so cute I am so happy right now to be honest for the price you don't get a lot it's small compact really nice but it was like 20 canadian dollars and that is a lot for this i have to say i'm really excited to try these i have my face base already done that's why i look like a ghost so that we can try all these things we're gonna go in with this first color over here all around the crease okay these shadows are so buttery i really like it not a lot of fallout either i'm gonna go in with the second shade this is a peachy shade more of a peachy shade versus a pink shade so i'm gonna use the same brush and i'll just go a little bit lower just to add a little bit of pink to the crease okay next i'm gonna go with this brown it's a very warm brown and I love this brown. It's a very warm, almost orangey brown. Okay, and next to darken the crease, I'm gonna use this purple shade. So it's like a very deep violet, and I'm gonna mainly focus that on the outermost portion of my eye. So it's a little bit messy right now, but let's just clean those edges up. Okay, now we're going in with a shimmer and I'm so excited. So we're gonna go in with this beautiful, beautiful pink shade. It looks exactly like my dress. And I'm thinking I'm going in with a finger for this. It almost looks like a pressed glitter. Ooh, it's like a pressed glitter. Oh, it is. I love it. I really, really like it. Okay, last shade. Let me grab a small brush. I'm grabbing this little brush right here and I'm getting this gold shade. And I'm mainly focusing this on the inner part of my eye. 
Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. So I'm gonna tight line with the blue jumbo pencil. I wanna see how that looks. I feel like this is gonna brighten my eyes and it'll look well with the pink. That's a very pigmented blue. It actually looks really nice under the eyes. Then using the pink jumbo pencil, I'm gonna put some pink underneath right at the tip of that lash line. And then taking this purple shade, I'm just gonna focus this on the outer edge. I am really liking this look. So it looks a little messy right now, but let me just clean that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're done with the eyes and we use every single color in that palette and I absolutely love all of the colors. So now I'm gonna be using the cheek palette. So going in with that pink shade, that Barbie pink, let me see how it will look like. This shade reminds me of that Dior blush that went viral during the springtime. Remember that one? Mm-hmm. I tried that Dior blush at Sephora and it looks exactly like this. Look how pretty it is. This almost sounds like a sponsored video, but I swear I had to go and buy all of these products in three different stores. I'm just really happy with this. Using a different brush, this is the brush I use for my orangey blushes. I'm gonna go in with that orange shade and I'll go in on the other side and I'm gonna put this all over the other cheek. So you can definitely tell a difference from this side to this side. This is definitely a summer shade for me and this is definitely a spring shade, but today this one kind of matches my eye more. So I will be trying to like mix them both a little bit just so that it can look more pink. So we're just gonna try to grab onto this center shade and it is too gold. Oh, actually it's, it's not too gold. Whoa. I thought it was gonna be too gold for my skin tone, but look at that. It's, I don't think it is. What do you think? Let's put it on the other side. Wow, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that. What? Whoa. I really like that. They really killed it with this collection. Oh my gosh. Okay, moment we've been waiting for, the lip stuff. So this one is in the shade Tiramisu. This is a regular butter gloss shade. You can buy this in NYX stores or in drug stores. So I'm gonna skip swatching this. And I'll go ahead and swatch the It's a Barbie Party butter gloss. Okay, let's try this. There's nothing on my lips. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That pigment. Wow. That's a lot of pigment for a butter gloss. It is so intense. It looks just like my dress. I like it. Not with this eye look. This eye look is too intense for this butter gloss color, but it is very beautiful. So the next shade we're gonna swatch is gonna be Dream House Pink. So let's see. Ooh. Okay, let's try this. Hmm. Wow, that was one swipe. That was really, really nice. I love this color. I don't like pinks, but this is such a pretty pink. I have to say, I like it. I like it a lot. Even with this eye look, I kind of like it. Okay, my camera is overheating. Before it dies, let's try the last product of the collection. This is the shade Perfect Day Pink. And I think this is actually a lighter shade than the first one. I thought this one was darker, but no, this is much more pink than the first one. The first one was a little bit more berry. This is more like pink pink. Oh, okay, okay. You can definitely tell the difference. This is definitely a pinker pink versus the other one, which was more of a darker berry pink. So, what are my favorites in this collection and what are kind of like, eh? Let's start with the eh side. It's the lashes. Well, this one is more of a personal thing. I just don't like lashes with color. I prefer them to be plain, black, intense, and I love the quality of them. They're so thin and fine, but I just don't like that there's pink in it. I feel like these are just not as intense as I would like them to look. So yeah, this was like a mm for me. Another one that's like a mm is not formula-wise. It's just color-wise. The eye jumbo pens. My cat keeps meowing. Let me give him some attention first. I'm sorry. Hello, you want to be on the camera? Do you want to be on the camera? Do you want to be on the camera? Yeah. What? 
the formula of these are amazing it's just the color the color it just doesn't suit my skin tone or my vibe and another one on the uh, side is this shade this is the shade perfect day pink this is the one that's a little bit more pinky as opposed to berry and again this is just a shade thing i also don't know how the longevity or the wear of this lip cream is i'm not familiar with this formula the only thing i don't like about this is the shade it just doesn't suit my skin tone i actually think this shade would suit my sister's skin tone a little bit more so i'll probably give this to her now everything else are amaze balls so this shade in dream house pink oh lovely Mwah. amazing i love how berry toned it is it's very barbie pink but like a purple pink kind of mix and i love this i feel like it just complements my skin tone a little bit more than the other shade another one oh my gosh this palette is amazing i am so impressed by this palette and i'm so impressed that i have this little keychain to bring with me everywhere i go this is not an eye pigment palette this is an eye and face pigment palette there are four shades here that are not supposed to be put on the eyes so that is a warning for you if you have sensitive eyes i don't but if you have sensitive eyes probably don't pick this up if you can't put the shades that you want on your eyes and those shades are this peach right here this gold this pink and this purple all those shades are not eye safe my number one my main thing that i absolutely love is this cheek palette i love this orange for summer i'll definitely be using it i love this pink it reminds me of that dior blush that's great for the springtime and this highlighter i thought it would be too dark for me but oh my gosh it is amazing i think it looks beautiful you can mix the blushes in they're so beautifully blendable and i think this is just the, the highlight of the whole collection thank you so much for watching everyone i do hope you found this video helpful in any way i am a small content creator and i do appreciate anything whether you like this video comment down below or subscribe i hope to see you in my next one bye